kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Hey guys, how's she going today? Well, I don't know what this guy's doing way the fuck back here, if he's waiting on the train or what, but he's quite a ways away, but <laughs> anyway, we're on a road trip here today, we're, uh, we're at St. Lazar right now, Manitoba, we're going just outside of town here to go uh, pick up some parts for the 5020 that, uh, and actually one of you guys who watched the videos, uh, Found it for, uh, found these parts for sale on uh, eBrand and then sent it to me. So we're gonna go take a look. Hopefully they're the right thing and uh, everything looks good. And uh, load her up and bring her home. So I'll uh, show you what we got when we get it. Look at that, all that oil going out to Quebec, you bunch of fucking assholes that don't want a pipeline. This is so much better than a pipeline. Look at that. Fuck is that nice. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Anyway. Oh, some plywood even on there. Nice! Antoine's here this afternoon, so that's all right. Um, I spent the most of the morning here cleaning the block and uh, cleaning the deck off. Got it all shined up again. And uh, now we're just clear. gonna get ready to put sleeves in. Uh, you remember how much crap there was in there when we uh, pulled the old sleeves out, so. Getting that cleaned out in the old O-ring. And the grooves all nice and clean and perfect. And then uh, we'll get that in there, and then maybe we're gonna try and get the uh, new used, the brand new used crankshaft in there. This one I went and picked up yesterday in Saint Lazar. It's uh, out of a 5010, but the part numbers are the same. His block was fucked, and he just bought a different tractor, so. He had got this crank redone and ended up not needing it since his block was no good anymore. So, bought that from him. It was a bit of a deal, thankfully, because shit was going to start getting real expensive real fast otherwise. So, that saved a bit of money. And then he also had all the new, uh, all new bearings for rods and mains there as well. So, I bought all that from him as well. Like kind of half of new kind of deal, but it's brand new stuff. Reliance uh, rod bearings and cleavite for the uh, mains. So that's all pretty good, uh, good name brand stuff. So uh, I guess we'll finish cleaning that out and bring you back in a few.
Should make 600 horse now. <laughs> should make 145 again like it's supposed to. Actually should be a little bit more I guess at the injection pump. Blow the head right off the studs. Best tractor that's ever been made. The reason International went out of business because of the 5020. <laughs> How many dislikes is that gonna get? My fucking 806 he pulled my turnip picker. <laughs> oh god. Anyways, so there's all the new sleeves and o-rings in. Now Antoine's gonna lay the crankshaft over his legs and turn the hub on and lift it up into place. Right? Not, not today. <laughs> Anyway, we won't wait till tomorrow. Yeah. You know, I... <laughs> Bring you back in a few. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I guess we're we're ready for some out. under the tire there. What? <laughs> is that a knife? Or is that just some oh, just some shit? Oh, it looked like an awful blade from over here. <laughs> just some extra caulking. <laughs>
trying to pull start the old girl just sliding on the ice once he can get it onto the gravel it'll maybe have enough jam maybe <laughs> There it went. <laughs> nice. Well, it's the next day here, but we got the 4020 in here because we're making new battery boxes and putting in uh, some big group 31 batteries. Look at them rottenness there we got to clean up and fix anyway so those boxes were in here up against and of course packed with shit and you couldn't clean it out got them off we're gonna make a platform here and then uh, the batteries are gonna go on this side but that's gonna be its own video this thing here we kind of hit a roadblock yesterday because I got those bearings with the crankshaft and 5010 to 5020, they changed their main caps here. 5010, this little notch here is centered instead of being offset so those 5010 bearings won't work with my 5020 caps. The rod bearings are good but the mains won't work, so I'm gonna to have to order them. And uh, it's the weekend, so that won't be for a couple of days till I can order them, but whatever. We got the crank in there. We just put a cap full of grease up against it to hold it there for now, since Rob and Antoine were here yesterday, so we had a few more bodies around that way to be able to get it into place. So now when we get the proper bearings, well, then we can just put the caps on and what have you, so. Anyway, I guess that's probably where I'm going to leave you for now. Make sure you hit the like button, and comment, subscribe for more so you can see the uh, battery boxes get done on here. And get that done and everything else that's going to be happening yet. So, I guess, thank you much for watching. Talk to you in the next one.